Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and today I'm back with you with another kit. This is Hobby Boss's 148 scale A10C. Uh, let's take a look at this one. So what's inside this box? We've got a nice box art as usual, it's a picture of the real aircraft, this is one of the schemes. It's in the uh, grey on grey which is ghost grey I believe. Uh, 14, uh, 148 scale, 14 plus. Uh, the length of the aircraft is 338.7 millimetres and the wingspan is 366 millimetres so it's uh, basically 33 centimetres long and 36 wingspan. Um, this side, we'll turn around, we have the weapon loadout, they're pretty old though, um, but that's nice. Languages, this part of the kit, kit number 81796, and yeah, 81976. And then marking options, like I say, one of the box art is the ghost grey version, we do get a nice black D-Day version marking anniversary version, and you get this other anniversary version of one of the, like, the warbird scheme. I think this is pretty boring. This is pretty cool, and the grey and the black. There is tons of aftermarket decals and schemes and stuff out there for this. There is a little bit of aftermarket out there for this as well, which I do have. I have picked up resin wheels, because I do like my resin wheels. There are rubber wheels in the kit, which I do know of. And Quinter uh, have just released their 148 detail cockpit set, which is their instrument panels. Which I do like as well, um, which is for the C version. The C has on the instrument panel has two dials, the A and the B is like one. That's how you can tell some of the differences. Um, but I will get into it. Um, so this is available as well now. So it's a standard opening box, pretty tight. All right, after wrestling with the box to get it off, a really tight fit. So straight off the bat we get the uh, markings, worksheet, I have had a sneak peek at this already so that's why some of the stuff is at the top. Colour call outs, we have what's upcoming kits and some of them are probably out already. Um, Rocket show GA10C which, we, which is what we're just going about to look at. And then tons of plastic, it's nicely bagged. I do know this was taken from the A version, so if you wish to backdate this, it is possible. Clear. There's those uh, rubber tyres. I'm not sure what the string's for. I don't remember looking at that. Nicely bubble wrap plastic and canopy. There is a part on the canopy I, I will want to explain. I have seen people make a slight mistake with that. So here is the paperwork. We do get a black and white um, worksheet, this is how our hobby boss do their stuff. And it's pretty standard, you've got all your symbols at the bottom, just to be aware of. And then straight within the kit we have... So I'll just zoom in a little bit, right, we work with colour, I'm not sorry not colour, the uh, sprue layout, everything that is in the kit. And the very first step is the instrument panel and the cockpit detail. So we have the little bathtub cockpit area, flight stick, instrument panel, like I mentioned. How you can tell between the C and an A and a B. C has two screens, the others only have one. The seat is pretty much the same. I'm not sure who the seat is. It might be uh, Martin Baker, I'm not sure. Um, so this is built up. Uh, they are called now for decals, but like I say, I am replacing it with my uh, Quinta decal set, so that's going to be much nicer. They are a little bit expensive, but again, I find all aftermarket is preference. It's up to you, you don't have to do it. But as you get within the kit, they do give you decals, so if, if you want to do it that way. Uh, this is the seat assembly, and then once that's done, this is part of the uh, blower aircraft and frame for internals, and then you get a nice gun section to build up so you have the uh, drum which houses all the uh, 30 millimeter um, bullets I think this is a 30 millimeter cannon if I'm not mistaken so you do get a nice gun option to put in the aircraft sadly 
there is no panels to open so you won't be seeing any of this but there is a nice touch with this aircraft though I do know of uh, that a friend of mine has done is he's built this gun and display it separately but the kit comes with two um, gun ends of the um, that you see that sticks out the front there's two of those so you can stick one on here and one on the aircraft second part is flaps and ailerons and the wings assembly they're pretty simple they're just basic big lumps of two halves we have this section here is for the uh, internal part which displays the uh, I think this is the air brake as well um, so if you have the flaps pointed downwards you, you will, will see this so you're going to need to paint this a little bit you have to do obviously left and right landing gear again you do get rubber tyres which I'm never a fan of so I have we've gone ahead and replaced them with resin but if you are using it out of the kit you get two piece wheels pop them into your tyre the uh, landing gear segment which is nice it does have moulded in brake lines and stuff which is a nice touch and then you put on your doors attaching it to the undercarriage and this long piece B1 is part of the uh, undercarriage these squares I do know of is to do with chaff which is well um, this section here, section 4, is basically the other side repeating the same wings and then landing gear is exactly the same repeating the process. This section here is to drill out some holes. It doesn't actually give you what dimension but they are asking for some holes to be drilled out. Nice touch here, you can have open or closed uh, electronics section. Here we have two fuselage halves go together and all the internals if you wish to put the gun in um, and then the lower section will be the front landing gear this section here this targeting pod which is known as the paved penny pod you don't need this on the uh, C version because the C version has upgraded weapon systems like the sniper pod and the lancer pod so this won't be needed so there is a slight mistake with the instructions I, I can understand what they've done they've just basically taken the uh, instructions from the A and just basically just done it and obviously forgot to put it on there um, so on the side of the aircraft there's a couple of holes you're going to have to obviously just fill them or just put some bolts in there or something let's make a metal plastic card or whatever but don't add that at all because that's wrong that's not for the C but then the landing gear goes in as normal a couple of air rules should be okay I don't see any problems with there with my reference material I will show you what book I use um, for reference you can have the uh, doors open and this is the uh, engine some of the engine detail it's not overly great but it's they do give you the option there um, once that's done that can be dropped in and then the front of the aircraft we have boarding ladder can be open or closed option which is a nice touch we have the front nose piece which is uh, can be open or closed again canopy going in the string now I know what the strings for you do get some chucks within the kit which is a nice kit uh, touch actually um, you can have on display touching the engine section and then all your weapons load out so you've got uh, ARAMs, 65s, we got uh, missiles, uh, RAM 9s, we've got bombs, we've got fuel tanks, we have GBU 10s, so they come with all in the kit and then at the back we do have the Lancer pod, the sniper pods and stuff like that which is all the up to date um, guidance systems which this is what you'll be needing for the C version not the uh, pay penny and then at last but not least is all the loadouts however you want to display it which is a nice touch next we have colour call outs we have this very large sheet which has the grey version on it um, so this is ghost grey colours light and dark ghost grey and then we have the weapon colour callouts again. G 
GB8s. I don't think they even use them anymore. Um, and colour callouts are Mr. Hobby down the bottom. The other option is the uh, anniversary D Day scheme, which is pretty cool. Um, they do give you the stripes as decals, but I imagine everyone else most likely will paint them on. Um, and then the rest of your weapon callouts and colours. We have this other sheet, which is the nice black version. They're calling out for flat black and natural grey. I might actually do this one, it looks pretty cool. This has the uh, snake mouth or snake big cow thing at the front, which is a nice touch. And then we have this other anniversary one of the old school aircraft type scheme. But I don't like this, I think this is boring. And then marking options we do have here. You cut these open. So hobby boss decals are pretty pretty good. I, I, I have never had a problem with them. But they do like to be put a little bit of tape on their markings just to hold them in place. It's going to be a bit of a pain sometimes. So here's the last sheet which has D-Day markings on them and the uh, giant um, devil symbol and this is the anniversary scheme options which is a nice touch. We have this one here is for the general stencil stator uh, marking option, squadron signals, insignias, the snake mouth stencil data at the bottom which is a nice touch and then this last piece is all your stencil data for your weapons and stuff most of these stripes you'll probably paint on but these small writing segments you obviously want to use them okay folks now we look at the kit this is everything that you get in the kit wise so first part is the fuselage half we have the tails the internal detail parts so, it, as I say, this is taken from the A, it is slightly upgraded with a couple of sprues, but the actual general kit is, if you've built this kit in the past, you know exactly what you're looking at and how it goes together. I haven't yet to build an A10 yet, but I do have a Tamir one, which is recessed, uh, sorry, raised panel lines, and this is a recessed version, so to me, I think this is a better kit, but some people have said the Tamir and the A and Atalaris and stuff is more accurate shape, but to me, this looks pretty good, so... I'm not, not, not worried about shape issues too much. It, it looks like an A10, so I'm just going to stick with it. But it has all, it has all recess panel lines and it has rivet detail. This looks pretty good to me. It's going to take a nice wash, nice grime, oil stains, streaking. Uh, the aircraft do look pretty clean, but... When I show you my reference book that I used, they are not as clean as you think. This is the upper wing section, I believe. Here, this is part of the uh, landing gear segments, which attaches to this part here. These are the flaps and whatever. Uh, one of them is air brake. This is some of the uh, attachment points that sit on the front here, which is open or closed option, which is some of the electronics sit in these noses. Again, nice sharp crisp detail, even for the age of this kit, I think it still looks pretty good. And like I mentioned, you can backdate this to an A, a B, and this is the new version of the C version. And a nice thing about this kit, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, it's under £40. Where are you going to find a kit of this day and age? There's not many out there even if they are re-releases under £40. Now this one has the lower wing section. This is nicely detailed in protection that I like about Hobby Boss Trumpeter. They all do the same kind of thing. They put this foam over, protect certain parts and they've done that just to protect this aerial. Yes they could have moulded that separately but it's a nice attention to detail to add foam for certain parts. 
So lower wing section, all your pylons sit on here, which are these, all your hard points, your tail at the back and um, airfoils and whatever. Again, nice detail. It does have some weird texture on this one, but that's not a problem. That all come out nicely. Nice tail sections or tail planes. You have a lower wing section, and then all your hard points. and the upper tail section and then a couple of other racks that houses weapons and this screw we have what looks like engine parts doors cowlings some people say these are wrong shape but to me again they look perfectly fine the only issue i do have with this is the fans that are molded in this cowling so it's going to be a little bit tricky to uh, mask off but other than that i think it shouldn't be a problem Here's some of your 30 cannon, 30 mil cannon assembly. So again, nice detail for the engines, cowling and covers. Actually, this could be the drum section for the. Uh, nope, this is these these are engine doors actually. And there's a there's your turbines. These turbines are. I don't know if it shows it on camera, but they are. They have got slits in them, so they are like open. And then we have here is your landing gear segments again as the brake lines all molded in it looks pretty good we have these parts of the engine these parts as well i think these not these these nozzle bits at the back here the ones that stick out the back uh another part of the engine covers and then this is your 30 millimeter cannon again you can display this inside or outside the aircraft because like I mentioned, I don't think it's on this sprue, I can't see it, but I know there is two guns, like the two nozzles on the end of the 30 cal, there's two of those. So you can do it twice. In here, this is some of your weapon systems, two sprues. So we, we have some of the weapons, missiles, rockets, hard points. So it's nicely done. Again, nicely, nicely protected. I'm uh, actually not sure what's inside this one. So again, this is all your weapon systems. Two sprues. So we have GB10 for looks of things. We have the hard points and racks. Some of the uh, guarding systems, some of the other bombs. These look like normal free fall bombs, maybe. So, again, nicely done. The racks, attachment points, uh, the free fall bombs. This is that the GB8, the really old version, which is not used anymore. Some of the other weapon systems, so it's nice. Let's wrap this up quickly. A couple of sprues left. We have this one here. Which has the giant fuel tank that sits in the middle. These are your two-piece wheels and the rubber tires on top, which are here, and the string for your chucks. Uh, internal parts. This looks like part of the landing gear wheel well. So is this side of the panel. Small detail parts, hatches. There's there's your chucks. This is some of the. Uh, machine gun belt type assembly um, this is the front landing gear segment um, so this is the part of the uh, internals but again some of the details pretty damn sharp 
Here is the instrument panel for the A and the B, I believe. And the C is on a separate sprue. I think there's only like one or two sprues that are added to this, which is to make it the C. More detailed parts. Now we have this small bag. Again, we have another protective part. They've done that just to protect your seat because it has some nice molded in details. There are seat belts that molded in, but I'm going to have to take care of those because I have got the updated set for this for the cockpit. Um, I have got the quinter one. Here is your cockpit tub. It does have all raised panel buttons. You can go ahead and paint this and dry brush it and detail it yourself, but I have got the quinter set. So this is going to take a, a sand in. That's the back of the ejector seat. Flight stick. I think it's taken from an F-16, I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, this is this is pretty good. And we have, I think this is one of the up, upgrades because this has the other instrument panel on it, which has the two screens, which is for the C. And I think these are the Lancer and Sniper pods assembly, which is a nice touch. And a couple of clear bags and clear parts. This is another thing I want to mention. See this centre seam, I don't know if it's going to show it, this this spine that goes down the centre of the canopy. I've seen people try and sand this out, but that's actually meant to be on the aircraft. That's like an aerial thing moulded into the canopy. So don't take that off. But this is some of the nicest clean parts I've seen. You have this small bag, which has a couple of lights in it. I won't get them out. And the last one is a couple of aerials and stuff, but they've done them in clear, strange enough. I don't know why. And a couple of more lights. And that is it for the kit. And one thing I will show you quickly, this is the reference material, if you're interested, that I'll be using for the A10. This has all the marks and stuff. It has the A, B and C versions in it. And this is very cool, cool books. These are from... Um, Sam Studios or Sam Productions and it has all your all your reference material and nice thing as well with these books when you get to here you have colour profiles there's the uh, D-Day version Desert Schemes and it goes into kits that people have built and it shows you what kit they've used and then how they've got about it and done a little bit of write up. So this is a C version which is available which is from uh, a tallery and how they've gone about it. Um, this is a tallery's A kit which is done in the green scam camouflage. This is a tallery C version which I've done in the, in the uh, grey. This is the Hobby Boss A version, which is what this kit's taken from. They've done a desert version. Hobby Boss A version, which they've done in grey. How are they going about it? Now, you now here at the back of the book, you get detailed shots of certain components. So this is all the aircraft being opened up. You can do this in the kit. This is all the side panels, board and ladder. You can do that. These are the side panels. This is that... Um, Pave penny pod, which is not needed in, in the kit anymore, or not used on the C, so you just don't put that in at all. And then these four holes, you're going to have to fill. Detail shots of the uh, chaff canopy open or closed. Mention about that seam on the canopy. Um, you see here on this shot, you see that spine going down the centre. That's what I was all about. I've seen people try and sand it out and make a mistake of it. Nice engine detail. Open or closed. I don't think there is any internal shots like this in any aftermarket that can do this yet, but it would be nice if there is. Under carriage sections, which are nice detailed, your machine gun uh, 30mm cannon, and then we have more cannon shots. This is the uh, some of the uh, weapon systems, Mavericks, other ordnance and bombs and weapons and free fall bombs. This is the uh, C version cockpit detail for C. Here are the up to date sniper pod and uh, lancer pod and stuff, which is here. 
and then this is the internals for the A seat belt, which I think is pretty much the same. Jetta seat's the same. And then we have nose art, which is a nice touch. Warthog, shark mouth, wild balls, the snake, which is within the kit, but you do get a black version. Nice artwork on the doors. So yeah, these are pretty good books. If you wish to get some of these, I do have a ton of these, and this is what I use for reference. So there you are, my friends. Uh, another kit from Hobby Boss. A10C, great kit as always, nice detail. Um, if you wish to get this kit, it's available now. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.